Nine sixteenths is always gone. Finish up uh, the wiring for the truck. So <coughs> this morning I'm going to just tackle the worst things first. I'm going to put in the plug in the bib bar here to uh, run back to the uh, uh, trailer control. Um, I already have the wire run through and run up here, so all I've got to do is is uh, drill a hole through the bib bar with the hole saw, mount up the uh, plug, and get it wired in. So. Okay, there's the worst, wor uh, <clears throat> worst part of the uh, wiring is done. Now the rest is just up here in the cab. Uh, I just gotta pull my wires up through, get my switches in there. Before I do that though, I want to, I think I might paint these switches so I can get rid of the spare on there. Um, I should have, gosh darn it, I was in town. I should have went to look to see if I had any uh, label tape for my label maker. I'm going to go take a look to see if I can put new labels on this stuff, and we'll go from there. I picked up some uh, Kenmore switches from a buddy of mine, and we're going to try to finish up the wiring in the truck. Okay, so I noticed that these two posts... ...are connected to this one. I'm just going to make some signs there. I'm assuming, I'm hoping that these two, these posts out here will have something to do with my my uh, uh lights actually you know what this one doesn't even have a light on it so i just got to figure out which what these switches here have for lights on them so i need to go into the truck and i need to figure out which wires um actuate the uh, lights which one which sides are powered and which ones aren't so i'm going to go in and actually pull out the switches and just test the wires out real quick just to see what's what has a, a constant power going into it what doesn't these switches here will have uh, power going through it. This one I believe is just a grounding switch. Um, that actuator just grounds out so this one won't have any power going into it. So um, I'm going to check these out quick and then we're going to figure out how to wire them. Yeah, I do have um, I do have a 
harness for the back of the hazard light switch and I have a harness for the back of the cruise control switch. So I'll be able to tie your white right into those harnesses. This one I never did get the harness for, um, but I can just use spade connectors just to connect to the back of these. That shouldn't be that big a deal, so. So I got, this is the <clears throat> seven strand wire that I got plumbed up in here behind the dash. I'm gonna open this, uh, uh, wire sheathing up or you know the coating on it insulation that's the term uh, I'm gonna open that back about uh, eight ten inches just far enough back that I'm gonna leave this all full length in here I could probably take about a foot off of it and that would probably be fine but I think I might that's gonna just save me some time I think I'll take that much off I think. and then I should be able to tie into my switches so I got to have a switch for the air gate the tailgate for the trailer a switch for the uh, dump valve for the trailer and a switch for the uh, tag axle at a minimum. Those are all electrically actuated. Um, I did some looking into the uh, switch for the quick down valve today and that's going to be an air actuated valve. So I've got to find an air actuated valve and my buddy's got some of those too. So. I'll probably grab one of them from him and we'll plumb that one in here later. I wish it was electric, but it's not. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I can't put a solenoid down there for that, but um, I don't know. We'll see what, where we can go. God, this baby powder they put in there gets everywhere. be good enough okay now I gotta start figuring out what wires I'm going to end up um, using for for what uh, so I remember where they're at I need to start uh, writing them down and everything too so um, I think we're gonna use the green for the gate because of the whole G thing that's not like gangster that's just the fact that it start the let starts with the letter G um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a terminal end on that because no matter what, I'm going to end up using it. Okay, I'm back this morning um, got the trailer wires all that stuff hooked up I kind of I didn't even take video of it because I figured I'd spare you guys from because it was starting that stuff's not fun to watch it's just me standing there hooking up wires uh, but I got the uh, uh, wire uh, receiver hooked up there got my coiled hose okay as I was saying before my battery died got my coiled hose here um, don't know if I'm going to keep that or if I'm going to run up through the loom or if I'm going to switch this all over and put in a put in a slider bar up there with some springs. That's probably what I'm going to do because this hose here really should be hung up up in the air. So I'm probably going to have to change that at one point. But I got my receiver here for my uh, uh, all my control switches. I have to label this or paint this or do something because it's right next to the light switches um, and electric switches there. I don't want to end up screwing that up. So plus if somebody inexperienced came up hooked it up. That one's so covered in grease, it's actually hard to see. So, um, got this hooked up, wired back, and everything like that. Um, all the controls work good. The only one I can't test, sorry, I got a cold right now, so I'm going to be sniffling and snorting the whole time. Um, hopefully it's not the Rona. Uh, let's see. The only thing I don't have hooked up is the tag. Um, so the tag is uh, uh, waiting for me to put the actual lift kit on. That's what I got here. I've got the, 
Bottom thing is a lift kit from Hendrickson. Um, I also picked up, finally picked up a, a wheelable floor jack um, from the Harbor Freight. Here's the deal. I love my snap-on tools. I love all that stuff. I like my Mac stuff that I got. But I can't afford to spend $1,000 on a jack I'm going to use four or five times a year. So I'll just buy that one. But those jacks are super handy. So also got a new cross member here. A little narrower than the one that's on there. But I have to cut this one off to do uh, the lift kit on it. So um, also Harbor Freight had a nice deal where you spent more than 50 bucks. They give you some free stuff. So I got some free drill bits and some tie downs because you can always use all that stuff. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, actually, I'm just making a roundup wrap up video because I have no idea. I have so much footage from doing the wiring and the, the uh, other work on the trailer here that I have no idea where this video is going to end. Uh, it's going to be decided when I'm editing. So um, wherever I left off, I hope you liked it. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, got a lot more stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to finish up the tag axle on the trailer here. Um, wherever, wherever this ends up at or whatever, um, I'll show you some issues that I had with the trailer here. Um, and one of them coming up and uh, why I couldn't finish it. But uh, I'm going to finish up the trailer. I do have the new hub here for the uh for the peat um brand new one coming in um we're gonna get that fixed and i'm gonna try to figure out whether i'm gonna order up some exhaust for that peat or if i'm gonna do some tires should probably get some tires that would be the more sensible thing right but exhaust is shiny so i don't know you guys let me know what you guys want to see um and we'll kind of go from there so yeah that and i got uh appway uh bluetooth scale system I'm going to do an install on on this trailer and my Kenworth <coughs> and uh, we're going to get that up and running and get that all calibrated we're going to run through the steps on that so oh, I got a frog in my throat thanks for guys watching guys if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit subscribe hit like drop some comments all that stuff so god bless see you next time <coughs> oh, I think I'm going to die here <coughs> oh.